to chat, and we'll start with Justin Ferguson. Hey, Bo, uh, just talk about your experience tonight, uh, you know, getting bench last week, getting the starts tonight, and, and playing a game and playing in a game like this and then the one you had. Well, tonight was a blast. You know, I came in this week with a different mindset, um, just wanted to be a competitor and just went back to my uh, foundation of what, what kind of got me here. And um, it, it seemed to pay off throughout the week. And then tonight, I didn't really know how it was going to go, but um, I knew I wanted to come in here focused and just um, compete like crazy and just do whatever it, it took to, to win the game. And, and you know, we battled, and as a team, I felt like we competed and did whatever it took to win the game. And, and finally, there at the end, we took the lead, and it paid off. Our defense played incredible down the stretch, um, didn't give up much of anything, and our offense battled and battled and battled and put together drives that were huge. Let's go to Jordan Hill. Bo, I want to ask you about the fourth down pass to Tyler. Just what was going through your head, and just sort of how did that play out to the point that you saw him and fired down the field? Well, we've been repping that play for a while, and they did a pretty decent job covering it. You know, we tried to set a little um, running screen and, and get a rub out route, and uh, they did a good job playing it. And so, fourth down, you know, anything can happen. They set a good. They did a good job of setting the edge and, and coming up the field. And I just remember running back to the left, just trying to maybe do something. And and Jarquez was over there, kind of just. Um, took off and, and kind of ran for a route himself and, and I made that last guy miss and I knew obviously everybody was about to, to be there and, and pretty much tackle me and I saw Tyler Fromm running in the back. Um, I mean, crazy. I'll never forget the vision I had. Um, I just saw that hair coming out of the back of his helmet just flopping, running wide open. And uh, I got lucky and threw it, all, threw it. got the ball out of my hand just uh, fast enough and he ran under it and caught it. You know, I didn't even see the ending. So I have to watch that one on video. Next question is Ben Durando. Bennett. Okay, we'll come back to him, Nathan King. Uh, Bo, how, how tired are your legs after the night? I, it, it seemed like you were scrambling a bunch and, and making plays. Do you enjoy sort of having to be creative on your feet and, and make plays like that a lot? Well, I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, I haven't run around quite like this in a while. Um, so I'm going to sleep good tonight when, whenever we get home. Uh, it'll be a long time from now. But, um, you know, I'm just – whatever I had to do for my team to, to win the game, whatever I had to do for my team to move the ball, I was willing to do it. Um, and everybody on, on my team is going to be tired because everybody laid it all out there, laid it on the line, left everything on the field. <gasps> Well, at what point in this game did you sort of realize that was going to be your tactic to scramble away to try to make plays um, on your feet, kind of as opposed to, to how you were uh, performing in the pocket and what you were doing for, through the first few games? Well, you know, today we uh, came in with the plan that I had had a few more zone reads and a few more, not necessarily designed quarterback runs, but running in the option of, of the play. And uh, I've, really after the first quarter, after those first few drives, I – um, came out running around pretty good. And anytime you play a man team, you're going to get um, some some running lanes in there. And, and when everyone's covered in man, usually they, they don't necessarily cover the quarterback. That's the D-line's job. And our O-line did a good job of just getting those guys out of their rushing lanes. And I just took off and created, and that's something that I've always been able to do. And our guys continued to, to scramble and, and um, work to get open, and they made a lot of big plays. Let's go to Brian Matthews. Uh, yes, Bo, you probably know as well as any uh, player on the team uh, Auburn's history and uh, you know, what this probably means to a whole bunch of former players and going all the way back to the, you know, the 99 team, the last team that went down there. What, what do you think it means to them? It's, it's an unbelievable feeling. And, uh, I mean, God is good. You know, he, he, he is. Um, going into this week, you know, it was, it was a lot. There was a lot of things going on that don't necessarily have a – I don't have anything to say about it. It's just a lot that was just out of my control, you know. But I think I did a good job of focusing on those things that I could control. And I, um, earlier in the week, you know, I just put it in God's hands. And, and whatever he wanted the situation to be, I was, I was willing to do it. Whether that was me not playing at all or was that me playing the whole game, it didn't matter. 
Um, and, you know, of course, once tough times come around, he, he comes through for us pretty big. And uh, he's just, a, I serve a big God, and he's incredible um, for what he's allowed me to do and the position he's put me in. Um, but, you know, we talked about 1999 all, all week. Uh, it was a year before I was born. So um, just 22 years ago, and, and that curse is finally broken. Hey, Bo, um, what can you say about Jarquez Hunter, especially on that final drive, um, obviously that long run and then punctuating it there at the very end? Well, I've said it in many interviews, and I'll, I'll keep saying it. That dude is just 110% effort on every single play. Uh, the moment is not too big. He's got the same look in his eyes and on the third down against LSU and Baton Rouge as he does on a Tuesday practice. And that's valuable, you know. That's not many people. Not many people do that. Um, and he just comes out and he just runs the ball so hard. And, and he's so he got great vision. And of course, when we need a spark, he goes on a long run and gets us down there. And once he did that, I kind of knew we had a great plan to, to punch it in. Um, and then obviously he did that there at the end. He, he ran through a guy to score, and there's just toughness, you know. And and we we pride ourselves on toughness. And uh, we were all tough tonight. Bo, thank you very much. Thank you all. Where are you going?